Okay. Okay. Go ahead, Dave. Hey, everybody. Dr. David Klauski here with Inside Health. And today we have a very special guest with us via webinar. And our guest is Joseph Antel. And uh, Joseph will give us a, a little background on himself. Uh, he's got a lot he could brag about. Uh, so Joseph, tell us who you are. Thank you, David. And thank you, Lauren, who's I don't think she's on today, but nice to be with you both and uh, to be with your the clients that you help uh, in their healing process. Yes, uh, so David is going to give you this link if you want to read a little bit more about me. But uh, some of the things that I would like to say about myself is um, I began uh, life <laughs> in my earlier days quite sick. Um, I had um, a severe strep infection after actually I had received some of the first vaccines ever given in the United States in the Boston area. I missed the third grade of school and um, had rheumatic fever. So a lot came out of that. And my mother got very wary of me being on antibiotics constantly. And so we went to a chiropractor and I was about 12 to somewhere between 12 and 13 years old. And ever since then, I would say that um, I've been adjusted twice a month since I was uh, 12 years old and I'll be 69 in two weeks. So that's, I have a great love for chiropractic and that chiropractor used standard process nutrition. So that's how I got involved with standard process. And now of course, um, I started working for standard process um, as a representative in the field uh, when I was 20 years old and then worked a few years, then established my own clinical practice. So I've been with standard process since 1970, before, <laughs> before you were born, David. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, and what I realized early on was not so much uh, being a sales rep, but being a teacher and especially my years in practice, which I still to this day see people and work with people um, remotely right now. Uh, but the main thing was uh, that I wanted to do to accomplish was to pass on all the years of study of Royal Lee and other great nutritionists. And the, the blessing of not only what chiropractic does, but the what nutrition does in cooperation with chiropractic, because it's the left mm -hmm. and right hand of, of a whole exactly. way of thinking and working with individuals. And so uh, I've written a book of protocols, uh, 450 protocols that I have found that have worked over the years. And I know David, you and Lauren use these protocols. So uh, in your practice um, as, a, as a guide or as a, another way of looking at how to approach um, any particular condition. Yes. Yeah, and I'll just say that uh, for the people watching, um, anytime we have a question as practitioners about a certain case, a certain uh, set of symptoms, uh, Joseph is our go-to for you know, asking those detailed questions of what should we be trying out? What should we be thinking? Um, you know, how do we help this person on a deeper level with the proper nutrition? And uh, so he, he got enough of these questions from enough people like us that he turned that into a book and that's what he's talking about. So, um, you know, it, I bet I bet you just, you know, you had a, just this whole bevy of all this information for so many years, you're like, why don't I just turn this into a book? So uh, Joseph is definitely a, a tremendous resource for us as uh, individual practitioners. He's a tremendous resource for people here in the Loveland area. We're blessed to have him so close to us. Um, and you said something very important there about uh, you know, putting this to work with chiropractic. And I think, you know, your mindset is much like ours, where you want to not only see the results in the patient, but also be able to quantify those results 
and and be able to see something that proves you're on the right track beyond just chasing symptoms. And so I think that leads us into the uh, the heart sound recorder as a, a device. Um, and you've played a very instrumental role in resurrecting this device from the graveyard. Um, please mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about that. Yes, uh, the heart sound recorder. How this came about. Yes, well, the heart sound recorder is uh, is a technology that was uh, Dr. Lee had in, invented in 1930, in the 1930s. And the, the premise of it was he knew that nutrition played a huge part in the foundation of anybody's health, especially in building a good constitution. So, so uh, most people use uh, somewhat the medical approach. Sometimes they need medications and surgeries, but nutrition is the foundation. You cannot use drugs to uh, accomplish resetting and balancing a person's system if they're starving to death. And that's literally what is, exactly. has tended to happen. And so Dr. Lee said, this is all well and good, but how am I going to explain this to my patients, my clients, people that I, you know, how can I prove this? So he, as I say, developed this technology where you can run a graph on the heart. The, the heart sound recorder it, recording um, device is not a diagnostic. It's not a diagnostic tool. It is an observational tool where we can see nutritional deficiencies. And mm -hmm. those nutritional deficiencies, when you apply the right nutrition, you can see the correction in the heart because, yep. which Dr. Lee got a lot of pushback in the 1930s and 40s. He said that the heart is the most electrical organ. It's the most responsive organ in the body to good things that we put into our bodies and bad things that we put into our bodies. And the heart reflects right. that. Heart so, first. Yes, that's right. So uh, it's an observational tool in the sense that uh, Dr. David or Dr. Lauren can run a graph and have that baseline graph. Then they can apply the nutrition, run the graph again, and you can see the direction of care. Or Dr. David could run a graph, adjust you, and even without nutrition, you could run the graph and see. And we have done, exactly. you know, uh, over 100,000 graphs now around the United States. And we can tell you that a hundred, almost 100% of the time, I won't be so arrogant to say 100%, there's always a change. Now, if a nutrition is applied and it maybe it isn't the right one for you, the graph will also show you that. Now, this means that also that you need to be cooperating with Dr. David and Dr. Lauren as far as how you live your lifestyle how you eat, how you exercise or not, how you rest or not, all of that plays a huge part in this. And so the Heart Sound Recorder right. provides this window into the entire body. And I, I wanted to take, go ahead, David, if you wanna say something else, I'm gonna just show them a couple of graphs sure. just to make this more vivid for them. You know, something you said uh, kind of sparked a little quote in my mind that um, you know, nobody's ever gotten sick from a drug deficiency. <laughs> you know, it, we, we don't get a headache because we're deficient in Tylenol, yes. um, but we can, we can become sick because we have a deficiency in certain nutrients and we see that in key ways. Right. Exactly. Exactly. And when you run and the all graph... All the drug is going to do is... 
Yeah, all, all that a drug can do is force your body into action, you know, either to um, suppress something that's hyper or uh, increase something that was hypo. So it's, you know, it, it, if you want to uh, force your body to do something, that's one way to do it. But if you want to encourage your body to perform naturally and the way that you were intended, then this is a way to do it. That's right. That's just such an excellent way to uh, to convey this. And so just like Dr. David does when he adjusts you, he palpates your spine because he knows, he knows uh, what is the perfect alignment. What is the normal, the natural, the, the alignment that will open the life force throughout your body the best? Well, the heart sound recorder shows you the same thing. Here, you can see this is the lub, the S1, and you don't have to remember that. This is the lub, and this is the dub, and then the rest period. And David and uh, Dr. Dave and Dr. Lauren know how to interpret this. Uh, but to know what is imbalanced, first, you have to know what is balanced. So here is the graph, and here's how we teach these professionals. And you can see that I want to show you just one case of someone that their heart was too fast. And let me just scroll down here. And uh, yes. So this was a case that these are all actual uh, graphs of people's hearts. So this was a gentleman that his heart, as you can see, see this rest period here should be twice as long as the work period. That's how we should all live, right? We rest twice as much as we work and stress out, right? Well, look at his heart. It was, it was too fast. So we applied specific nutrition. And then three weeks later, he came in and you can see that his heart balanced out. So this is in a nutshell, what we, how we use this. And uh, of course, this gentleman had to make some changes in his weight and his eating habits, his exercise habits as well. So we're using this as a tool to help people with their direction of care and their direction of health. Great. So I don't know if there's anything so else you, you want to ask about it or? Well, um, let's see, I, I do want to, and we have several other questions that we want to get into. Into it. And this may be uh, another video that we will uh, put together. Um, sure. How far into this are we right now? Um, we got on here at, let's see, 12.55. We got on here about 12.30. Yeah, so I think we're probably done. And we can take this okay. part out at the end, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. And let's, uh, if you want to start another one, we can do that. Or do you want to find a different day if you're running into your next uh, appointment? Yeah, if you, the best way to do would be to keep these short and uh, to give yeah. me, so I can just gather my thoughts a little bit and then think of graphs that I can show them. So, um, okay. Um, so yeah, just text me and we can do it every day. I mean, I don't know how many of these you want to make but we could, this only took 20 minutes, you know? Sure, I think that was a good start. Um, I think you know, with the list of questions that we sent you, um, probably the only thing that I would, well, I mean, there's probably plenty of things we could, we could add to this. Um, but uh, we could talk a little bit about how it works exactly um, and, we can get into uh, like why this matters, what what symptoms or issues we may see, um, and how we could even spot things before they're symptomatic, before the patient you know even is aware of the uh, a heart issue. Um, Did you text because that those to the me? people that we want? Yeah, if you can email or text uh, yeah. me that, and then we could do another one tomorrow or Wednesday. Okay. Yeah, we I sent that, um, or it looks like Lauren sent it on uh friday oh geez okay i it thought we were going to talk about text. me and then just general hsr so yes okay 
um, we can do that. Uh, you know, as I say, tomorrow or Wednesday would be fine. Thursday is the only day I teach on Thursday, so. Okay, uh, Wednesday would probably be best if okay. we could do that. Yep. Just text um, me the time. Either. Yeah. Okay, so uh, most likely either in the morning or early afternoon. Yep, just let me know the time and uh, we can jump on like this and do the recording. Yep. Okay, I'll just send you a text right now. Uh, we'll say I'll I'll just peg it in for one thirty on Wednesday. Great. Well, hold on. <laughs> and yeah, then what I'll work. what I'll do is I will cut and paste what we don't want out of this, and then um, I'll email this over to you the next day. It's probably tomorrow sometime. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. All right, good. And uh, you I just know, we got can... that sent to you via text. Okay, and we can. Uh, if you don't like this, uh, you know, no, you know, I, I, I have no ego in this. So if you don't like this, we could redo it. You know, for sure. So you, you just have to. No, listen. I do. I and so I'll, I'll send you a little more in that text chain um, of the things that we could talk about. I think if you have a way of clearly showing like some of the these kind of graphs like this, um, the the key things that would be meaningful for a lay person, you know, the like the ideas of rate, rhythm, and tone. What do we mean by that? Yeah. Um, and we don't have to get specific into all the the um, protocols. Um, but yes. we could talk about how we're supporting either muscle function or nerve function, or you know we're thinning thinning the the bile and blood, or you know whatever, uh, however you want to phrase it, just very simply. Okay, good. So whether you know talk about like the difference between the the B vitamins or yeah, you know, how that how that could be um, the different yeah. symptoms like energy issues, sleep issues. Yeah. Um, lifestyle sure absolutely you know, just go down. yeah the, the big ones that people are going to be aware of that's great so like for instance i can talk a little bit about the in this if i show them just this the brain body relationship you know that that that's what you do is you balance the autonomic nervous system through chiropractic and you know, and then I can say we have nutrition that helps balance that as well. So, yes, things okay. like that. Yeah. Okay. Good. Uh, that you know is reflected and shown that the heart shows us whether it's too slow, too fast, or balanced. You know. So, okay. Good. That gives sure. me an idea. Yeah. And then, of course, you can chime in and say it how you say it with your clients as well. So, sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I just, mean, we we try to keep it pretty simple for them too, um, and you know, simply just compare it to the uh, the normal graph, and just have them get an agreement like that doesn't look right, does it? And um, Right, and then you know we'll just simply say we're going to test you the things that we know work best for these kind of issues, and you know we're looking at the the muscle tone, the the nerve action. We're looking at um, yeah. you know the valve, uh, you know the valve function. Yeah. So I mean those are the main the main things, right? Yeah. Um, Yep, whatever, whatever you want, yeah. uh, just text me whatever of those descriptions you'd like me to actually show them. So I can, I, through, sure. the, through these, I can you say, know, I, you know, this, this is a poor muscle tone here, and this is a yeah. strong muscle tone here or a normal. So. Sure. Um, so I think like, uh, I'll put in uh, that list. Yeah, in put in text, three, so. yeah, put in, put it, put that list in, just put three things. And then the next time we can do the another three things. We don't have to try to do them all at once. Yeah. Since this is okay. going to be an ongoing series for 15 minutes. Yeah. So you don't want me to mention products with it, just, uh, just to talk about what is normal and what is not normal, right? 
Yeah, I, you know, that's more like practitioner level to know the products. Yeah, um, so I can do that. That's not. And we don't want them to like self-diagnose and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Okay. That'd be so. Good. Yep. So, but you, I mean, you're free to mention like this is what we do. This is what we know. We 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 can we can address this very carefully or very quickly with uh, Cataplex B. Um, okay. You know, well, and just as a quick aside. Yeah. Well, I, I wouldn't get I, too deep into that kind of right, stuff. Right. 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 Or I could leave that to you to tell them, yeah. Okay, so that's good. Yeah, I can yeah. do that. I'll just cut and paste these out and I'll take this part out, that's all. That's easy to do. Okay. All right. Okay. Great. All right, well, I'll get this sent over to you. Oh, see yeah, I got that sent to you just now yeah. uh, via text. Okay. It's great. How was your heart doing, all right. by the way? How was your heart doing? You know, it, it really, it really cleared up here lately. I think 